So welcome to the Mockingbird video. This is a 1980, maybe 81 Longhorn Koa Mockingbird. And the mode, the biggest reason why I feel the need to do these two videos I'll do about this is because there's not a lot of information about these guitars and especially covering all the knobs and switches and mini toggles and so on that, that are on this thing. So I will be covering a f most of these details on this. This will not be a video about the different tonal option you can get. I'll do a separate upload where I'll plug this into a Marshall or some other kind of tube amp where I'll be putting it through its spaces. This is a video to show what's been modified on this guitar, two, that I, two modifications that I know of, so a general overview of the guitar, and also covering greater details that I've seen that I found on YouTube or on the web for that matter, what all the mini toggles, pots, how the active boost is used or activated, and the few possibilities that you can do with that. So I'll be mostly covering that with still images. It's really hard for me to handle the camera and prod along in the electronics and show great detail. So when we get to the electronics part, the electronic cavity, I will be a talking head video with some images shown so I can point with the mouse, the computer's mouse, what everything does, visually speaking. And I'll also do a tap test to show you how the mini toggles affect the coils on the humbuckers. Well, let's get to it. And the next series of video, when this one is done, will be about plugging it in and listening to it through a clean channel and also a, an overdriven or distorted channel. Amp. So let's do this, this first bit, overview and electronics. So here's the general overview of the electronic cavity. What we have here is the master volume, three-way pickup selector, volume to control the active boost function of the guitar. Here you have the mini toggle that's all on its own. So if you look back at the front of the guitar, either the later part in this video or the beginning of this video, it is the mini toggle that's all on its own. That's not related to anything else physical on the guitar. So it's really hard to confuse it with the other mini toggles on it. So this one is an on off switch. So either the active boost is on or off and you blend in or you affect the amount of boost you want using the active boost volume, its own separate volume. During the test of the electronics on the next part of this upload, I'll show you how a little bit of how the volume works with the active boost engage. But these are dependent on each other and do not affect everything else apart from adding signal gain to the overall sound. Master tone, passive, still in function when the boost is on. Very tone switch, again, still in function when the boost is on or off not affected and you can see that one of the position is might be a bypass of the tone and the volume pots now the rest of the functions are hidden a little bit a little bit of circuit board with caps resistors and everything else on it and all of that is covered in electrical tape since this is fairly valuable guitar I'm not gonna mess around with that board for the very tone switch, so I will not be covering in detail what are all included as far as caps, resistors, wiring on the very tone switch. On the next upload, I will be using the very tone switch to show its different possibilities, but I'm not messing around with that part. That would be almost a series of video on its own. So I'll just work on covering most of the functions. The Veritone is a separate world by itself. 
And the three red squares here are the three mini toggles affecting the coils on the uh, guitar's pickups. So if I go, try to move slides, um, here we go. So the highest one is for the bridge pickup, middle one's for the neck pickup, and lowest one affects the um, polarity of the coils, the way they interact with each other when the uh, pickup selector is in the middle position. So they're all, again, I'll repeat it, they're all two positions. So either they're in off position, meaning the humbuckers work as normal humbuckers would. And in the on position, they will switch from series to parallel. So series to parallel here, series to parallel here, which BC Rich called the super sound thing. So this is the super sound option. You could have some vintage BC Riches with the coil tap or coil split function, but this guitar is not one of them. And this one is for in phase or out of phase when both pickups are engaged. Next slide. Here we have better view of the veritone switch, better view of the mini toggle affecting the uh, activating the volume boost, and a little bit. And next slide. Here you see again the volume for the active boost, the mini toggles to engage the different coil options on the pickups. And you see here that this is the normal quarter inch female jack you would find to activate the battery inside the active boost, just like an EMG electronic jack or a Seymour Duncan blackout. So my assumption, my analysis of the thing is that if I leave a guitar cable plugged in, whether or not the volume boost is engaged, it will drain the battery. So I'm not leaving a cable in, but I'm not 100% sure of that fact. So if, if you have more information about that, you want to put it in the comments, I'll take it. I'd be more than happy to add it to this uh, information. At this, time, at this point in time, that's the way I think this works. So this is the end of this part. Next part of the video is coil tapping and verifying the functions of everything in the front of the guitar and visually associating the switches with the pickups and so on. So this is the verification of the electronics of the BC Rich Mockingbird. This is not a tone test, it's just to verify what every function does and how everything works and how everything bypasses each other if it comes to that. So I'll just tap the coils on the pickups to prove what every knob and switch does. The tone test will be with an actual vintage or you know real tube amp as opposed to my Little Mermaid that I'm using right now to do this. So pickup selector, master volume. If I turn the amp on, it'll be really helpful. Here we go. It's too loud. Hmm, let's get some more signal out of this. Here we go. on because it's too bad and I'm picking up a local radio station. I apologize for that. Analog circuitry is the best. Alright, middle. Tap, 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 tap. If it works. Bridge. Mr. Von you. Nothing. Alright. So that's taken care of. This is the EQ boost. I'm going to tap it, you're not going to hear much. The singular particularity of this is that this will enable 
this volume for EQ boost, and this will act as another master EQ, master volume, sorry. So right now it's off. So if I turn it on and leave it to the off position, mute, mute, and mute. And if I turn it on slowly, I'll leave it in the bridge position. It's easier to hear the difference. Master volume, passive master volume. On, active master volume, off. So you could find a way to do a dual channel kind of thing with this. It'd be, it would work. You'd have to spend a lot of time figuring this stuff out. But essentially this is not a master volume for the boost. It's a heck of a boost. Uh, when I'll do the tone test, I'll play with it to show you. But I kind of want it when I use it like about here. Because otherwise it, it turns the guitar into basically a, a big fuzz pedal. Fuzz pedal. The very tone here works. Even if I tap it, you're not going to hear much of a difference. So now this is like a six position switch. One, two, three, four, five, six. I only heard about five position veritones, but I could I could be wrong. So this is the veritone, master tone. Now we get to the interesting bit, these three. This is for the bridge pickup, neck pickup. So it's off so you can't hear it if I turn it on. And both. So, bridge pickup. So it doesn't split anything. And even if I verify it on the other pickup. So, bridge. so I'm assuming it goes from series to parallel. But it's not a coil splitting mini switch. This should be the neck pickup. Same thing. So it's not splitting anything in case there would be any confusion. It's not splitting this one. So during the tone test, we'll see how it affects tone on this. And this would be how to combine the two in phase and out of phase. Again, it's not a coil splitter. If I put them together, so this is essentially to prove how the EQ work. The not the EQ, sorry, the the uh, active boost works. We have master tone, master volume, and that these are not coil splitting switches. With the tone test, we'll be able to verify more accurately what this does in the next video. Thanks a lot.